Happy holidays, everybody. Now, listen, I know you didn't read the title, so you had to come and check this out, right? Today, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make. And when I say easy, I mean easy. Look, we're doing a stuffed turkey breast. Now, don't forget, I have done a, uh, I got a cornbread and I got a cornbread dressing. You know what I mean? So you make the cornbread, you do the dressing. You know, it's the holidays, so we go a little bit extra, right? But I'm gonna show you in this video right here how you can just use this and these few ingredients here to get your dressing going. Now listen, I'm not finna over talk it. We finna get right into this video, right? So the first thing I'm getting ready to do is I'm finna preheat my oven to 375 degrees. Now, everything that you're seeing right here is on my website. Again, it's fully printable now. You guys go by and check it out, which is smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W I T A B.com. Now, I want to show you the star. This is him right here. This is my turkey breast, already thawed and ready to go, right? So, we have this, and then we have some ingredients here. I'm going to start making my dressing. This option right here is going to be like the fast way to make it. You know, you can get this out just like in a couple hours. So, first thing I'm going to do is start prepping my veggies. I don't know about y'all, but one of my favorite things is saute and veggies. All right, as, as always, listen, we got a season, right? So then when this is all cooked, we want to taste it, right? So I'm going to be using my A, right, for my level up, right? I'm going to go ahead and just put a little seasoning on here like that. Just enough to wake it up. Okay, so when you get to this state right here, no matter what type of dressing you're doing, because this is gonna be like where we're getting all our flavor from, right? Now be a great time to add that garlic. Now notice that I put the garlic on top, right? That's key. All right, so we've been cooking that off. Now I'm gonna come with my thyme, my rosemary, then we get back in here and then we mix this up. This is gonna give it that flavor. Now this right here works really, really good. I'm sure you guys all know, especially when you're doing, you know, turkey. But if you ask me, it works really good with any type of poultry. Okay, so look, I let that go for about two more minutes, right? So a total of four, two with a couple of minutes with the white wine. Then I put in the, you know, the herbs, and then we went a couple of minutes, now I turn this off. So what I'm getting ready to do is, we finna work on, you know, the, the bread part about it. Then we finna put all of these flavors in there and mix them all up, get a little broth, all of that, and ooh, wait. All right, now I'm getting ready to use, you know, cube stuffing. Don't forget, I have a cornbread dressing and I have the cornbread to go along with it. If you guys got one of those, you can do that. Don't forget, it's on my website, all right? But I'm getting ready to pour this in there just like that and it should look just like this. Now, once you, you got this in here, right? So you guys know, I'm sure we didn't all been around somebody that has made, you know, a dressing or you've made one yourself, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this right here. We wanna get all of the juice, everything, right? So. I'll run this down like that. And now you guys will start seeing how the flavor is getting ready to come into play. All right, so now I'm gonna hit it with the egg, the parsley, and then the chicken broth. And now we mix. You know, I'm gonna add some more to it, just right here. Like I said, a little bit at a time. You know what I mean? Because I want it to be a little bit more moist. And then when you're done, just a little bit on the damp side and how I know, because if I take this right here and do that right there, that's what you want. You don't want it to be just like super moist where it just start coming out of the side of your fingers, right? That's what we're looking for. Now, I'm gonna set this off to the side over here. Clean this up right now. And then what we finna do, we finna open this bird up and we finna butterfly, folks. All right, so now when we get down to the part about, you know, like deboning the turkey, if you guys want to get your butcher, butcher to do it, all you got to do is ask him like, hey, can you debone this for me? He'll give you, you know, your breast and you'll be good to go. But I'm going to go ahead and do these myself. You know, they're kind of like easy to me, right? So I got one, still got the neck and all of that on there, right? So I'm going to turn this over and this is what we're going to do. Now, after I thaw this one out right here, you see this right here? We got to cut this out of here. I'm not going to go into no great detail. There's so many videos out there with it. You know what I mean? And then most of us, like, I don't know why I didn't do it even for myself this time, is I have this already deboned. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. Okay, so once we get all of that cut out, don't worry, we are gonna cut the rest of the meat, the white meat, right? The breast off of here, but we gotta get this wishbone out. So I'm gonna turn it over this way because you guys can see it a little bit better. You know what I mean? You remember when we was kids, everybody wanted to have that. But look, you see it right there? You can run your finger right here and just see it, right? So once I feel it, this is what I do. I just take it, I fit it on the top, right? And I just do like that. And I like to come out underneath it. That's gonna give me a guide when I flip it over, right? So 
again here just come out underneath it like that cut it a little bit you can see this is it right here we getting it out if i move it like this you see it moving right there look that's him right there so we just get underneath it right we got to get it follow it up be careful folks you know what i mean we just get it like this we're starting to work our way out you might have to rotate this a couple of ways you know what i mean which means you have to go from the back to the front i know it's a little bit of a, a different step you know what i mean but it's worth it all right so i don't know what it is i know they got all them superstitions and whatever you know what i mean but here's the wishbone right here you know what i mean i wasn't able to make no wish or nothing like that you know how some people say seven years of this my i don't know what it is but check this out wishbone is out all right so this here and this you're supposed to freeze this right and then when you need some turkey stock after you done did a few things this right here give it to you now you can make your own now once we get to this stage wishbone is out right here we got to get the two breasts off of this right here and you can see we got some bone right here right so if you see i'm gonna hold it like this this part right here is real easy because all we're going to do is trace the outer side of the, this bone right here so you see what i'm doing right here we just take it just work it down right just like you're doing a pork chop if you was going to do something like that you know what i mean this should be familiar to you if you've ever done one right so we do this right we want to just trace this right keep as much meat you see how that is look they're starting to open up folks right stay on that right side depending on if you start on the right side you just want to stay on the outer edge of the bone right and so what's so key about it is you got to have a listen you got to have a sharp knife now this is what i'm talking about you got to get this out this goes you know inside to make your turkey stop now once you have that out of there i want to show you something if you could look at that you see this little tendon right here if i take my finger and just like this and open it up look that's the tenderloin this be like the prime meat of any any protein is like the, the tenderloin you ask me so we can open that up like that but i'm gonna take this piece right here and i'm gonna do a little work on it you know what i mean and we finna pull this out Now after, look, I'm separated, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna go ahead and just run this right down the middle. We're gonna do it just like that. Now, I'm gonna take my skin off because we're gonna put this back on at the last. You do not have to do this, but I do this part. You know what I mean? Uh, just, it's like a little added step, but it allows me to put the skin back on and allows me to, most of all, to season underneath. All right, so look, after you get that skin off, I set that off to the side. Now I got this over here. You know what I mean? I put my saran wrap over the top of that, you know, and then I'm gonna use the smooth side, right? So now you know what to do. We just work. Now we wanna keep it about, about an inch thick, right? Cause you remember we wanted to all cook, you know, just at the same, at the same time. Okay, so once we get to this point right here, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of this infused olive oil, put this on here like that, just to act as my little binder. We just need a little bit, right? I'm gonna grab my salt, which I'll be using kosher salt, folks. You know what I mean? I like to give it a little, mm. This is still a large piece of white meat, you know what I mean? So it'll take a little bit of salt. It looked like it's more than it is, but just a couple of pinches and that'll do it. Okay, so once we have that, you know, I'm finna come with a little bit of my pepper. We keeping it simple, folks. Look, cause we got good tasting turkey, right? We put a little salt, pepper. You guys can season if you wanna do something else, but don't forget, we put a lot of flavor inside of our, you know, our stuffing, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start building this in like this. All right, so look, when you see it right here, you know, the only thing left to do is just to roll him up, right? So I just wanna start him. Get him like this, right? Start just bringing it over. It'll roll itself, folks. You know what I mean? Look at this right here. Ah, yeah. This is when it's done right, folks. We didn't go too thin. We might have a few little layers. 
and we just bring it over here and we leave it just like that right i'll tell you you're gonna get a little bit of that out of there but no worries now i'm getting ready to cut my string you know which is my my kitchen time uh twine right so i'm gonna just cut that probably go one two three and then four and then i'm gonna do the same thing with this one over here all right so now we're gonna attempt to do this one just to cover him you know what i mean it's like a little protective layer you know uh but look at that right there this is what you want to have folks now i'm gonna cut this little excess piece off maybe do a little tuck or something but as you can see look at that right there that's what we want All right, so this is the finished product. They look it real good. We already at 375 degrees. What you wanna do is just add about a cup of water, you know what I mean, down here on the bottom, just so we can get a little steam. Depends on how big your tray is. I like for it to go all the way around, right? So I just add a little bit more to it, and that's enough right there. Now I'm getting ready to insert this. Now we wanna get an internal temp of about 150 degrees, right? I say 150 or about an hour and 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna check it at about an hour, and then we go from there. Okay, folks, so here we go. This is what it looks like. Look at that right there, that's a beauty. Now, I'm gonna let this sit out here and I'm gonna let it rest for about, about at least 20 minutes, right? You just wanna let it relax, my twine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it right here on this part right here, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna use my slicer, slicer. You know, we just bring it in like this. And if you see that right there, that's what you wanna have. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just put that right there so you guys can uh, see it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut me a few of these down. Now you wanna keep it a little bit on the thick side, right? You don't want it to fall apart. So you figure this right here from the edge is about one inch. I'll probably go like about an inch and a quarter and then we just take it and we just cut it down. All right, and then when we take it, you bring it like that and that's what you come up with. Now I'm gonna just start laying these down like this and let's just cut some more down. Okay, folks, now look, you see it right here. Listen, if your mouth ain't watering or you know what I mean, I don't know what to tell you, folks. And another thing I got to say, listen, we got to break away from doing that same old, same old. This right here is just like a, a new Christmas, you know, dinner. So I'm not finna over talk it or nothing like that. I'm finna move this slicer, which you can get on my website. You got to get one of these because, listen, when we go from now all the way up until the summer, we're going to be slicing some real meat. Now, let me take this. We'll put it over here like that. I don't know about y'all, but you know I like that cranberry, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just put that on here like that, and I'm going to cut it, right? Oh, my goodness. Now I wanted to tell you, talk to you about that skin. The skin is a little crispy. You hear that? Listen. That's what you want to have, right? So I showed you how to remove it and do all of that, but with no further ado, cheers, y'all. Now check it out folks, usually when I take a cut like that, I go in and eat it all up. But this is what I'm finna do. I'm finna go ahead and make me some mashed potatoes, whip up some gravy, and I'm gonna pour it all over this and then I'm finna get down, right? So if you like this, talk to me down in the comment section below. This will change your Christmas and probably give everybody that sit at your table, give them the ooh wee factor. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace. Thank you.